Happening now, veterans, some sadly long forgotten, have a new resting place tonight among their fallen comrades. Now at five, Marsha Bonhart is back with this ceremony, finally giving them the respect they earned and deserve. More than a dozen members of our nation's deceased military received a proper military burial today. But in a memorial service at the Dayton VA, they were honored for their service and laid to rest. First, a salute. Each of these urns represents men who had served in the U.S. military. Today we're going to honor 14 veterans that weren't afforded military funeral honors previously. Honor our veterans. A place of honor at a national shrine. Many veterans groups were in the audience to make sure these forgotten heroes are properly and finally placed. The urns were respectfully brought from Woodland Cemetery in Dayton to be interred at the Dayton VA. Army. Lauren Gannon's father Army. fought in World War I and died in 1973. His ashes, too, had been at Woodland. Uh, saw it in the newspaper on Friday, and all of a sudden there was his name in the newspaper. I, I, I had no idea they were, were, uh, were doing this. Uh, my mother's also being buried with him here. Uh, she was with him at Woodland Cemetery. Finding and placing some unclaimed, some forgotten remains of military veterans is the focus of the Missing in America project. It helped Lauren Gannon Jr. know his father's remains are in the good company of others who gave their efforts to the U.S. military. Doing what they're doing is a very admirable thing uh, that needs to be done to show respect for those people who serve their country. For more information about the MIAP, including how to volunteer for the organization, go to WDTN.com. Marsha Baumhart, 2 News, working for you.